Hello, I am Alyssa, and I am a freshman at Simley High School, and I play the trombone, and I'm here to teach you all the things about the instrument. The first thing every trombone needs, I'm not in frame. The first thing that you need to learn how to do is open your case. Now, if you're like me, you might struggle with your case because no one's going to teach you, but I'm here to teach you so you don't face the same things as I do. So, what you're going to have to do is get the case that ha holds your instrument in it, right? As you see, mine's right here, and all it's prime. I think, no, it's not prime. Um, so, on the case, there is a label normally. Hopefully, you should have a label. Anyway, that label stays on top. And I'm, I'm going to be opening this on my lap because I am lazy and I don't want to move. So, here we are. Then you'll undo the... I'll do it this way so you can see it. But, see, label's still there. And so, you undo the clasp latches thing. And then you can... Oh, I hit a wall. And oh, I hit the wall again. And then you can open it. And see, nothing fell out of the case. If you did it upside down, it would have fallen out. As you can okay. see, I have not moved much from opening the case. Because what we're doing now is talking about the parts of the trombone which I will be going from closest to farthest from me because it's easiest for me to do that. We have first a slide, right? On the slide, it goes like, vroom, you know? It gives you that like lower sound as you go down. And on this, there is a latch, which like, see, it can go like this. And if I latch it, it doesn't anymore. Also on here is these two silver parts. See, one is long, longer than the other, right? I will come back to those in a bit, right? And on this end, I have the spit valve, and that's to empty the spit that gets like, comes out of your mouth. Normal things, right? Next, we have the bell. The bell, that's where your sound is projected from. It's an important part, you know? Your tuner is down here. And I am not going to mess with the tuner, demonstrate it like I did with the slide, because it's going to make me even more out of tune than I actually am. So, here we are. And, yeah, that's for the bell. And then, you see this is where I was talking, like, it's going to fall out if you do it upside down. Everything inside your pocket's going to fall. Or at least with my case. I don't know any other cases, but you have your mouthpiece, right? Thing. You blow into it, buzz, I mean buzz, that's what I mean. And it makes your no your noise. And those are the parts of the okay. instrument. Okay, now we're going to put together the trombone because I kind of need to do that eventually. And why not learn? So, I can't do this with my, on my lap. Ugh. There. And so, I normally start taking, with, taking out the slide, right? And you still can't see the slide. So we're like this. And then next part is bell. So back when I was talking like with the two silver pieces up here, that's one different and one is not. The longer one is gonna attach to the bell like this, right? You know? And you're gonna like, not like that. Like if you're gonna want and like that square position, you know? Square. So you're, and if it was looking at you, you want the bell like facing out like this. And it, it's going to be a right angle. If it's not, it's not going to work very decently. Or it will, but it's not going to be as comfortable. I'm not in frame. I'm sorry. Um, and then the mouthpiece. I should get back in frame. Here we are. And that goes like in the other hole. And you just twist that and boom, your instrument's together. Now comes the hard part for me. I need to demonstrate how to hold my instrument, which I'm not sure I do it correct, but it's how you're going to learn, and you're going to learn it, I guess you're going to learn it from me, which is a bad decision, honestly. Anyway, how I learned is 
the metal bar right here, this one, you put your thumb right there, right? Thumb. Normal, right? Not our thumb. And then you put your pointer finger around the mouthpiece. And, right? And that's just like to hold it like that. But I'm not done. Then your excess fingers, like, how many? Three fingers. And that just like wraps around the metal, this silver part right here. And then you put it on your left shoulder like this and to hold the slide i'll switch directions this way to hold the slide you don't this is no you don't don't do this it that is bad and you don't you do like one one finger or maybe two fingers with your thumb and that's how you move okay hello i'm here to teach you now about how to play a noise on a mouthpiece right so you're gonna to wanna to have a firm embouchure, and that's like the shape of your mouth, like And you just do that into your mouthpiece, like Easy enough, hmm? Like all talented musicians, we have to start somewhere. And my somewhere was a woodwind instrument called the recorder. Now, you might be wondering like, how does that have any importance to the trombone or learning to play trombone? It doesn't, I just wanna play the recorder, so here I go. I'm bad at the recorder. I just realized that, but we're leaving it in. Anyway, difference between a recorder and a trombone. One's on the bass clef, that's the trombone, and one's a woodwind instrument, and that's the recorder. So do what you want with that information. Now, for maintenance of the trombone. I'm not in screen for this, as you can see, like my face is not in it, because it's all about the slide for this. You need to know how to clean, I mean, not clean, uh, 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 oil it so it doesn't get stuck because if it gets stuck you can't play notes pretty fast and it's just a hassle so to do and plus I get to clean my, my thing with this so it's fine anyway to do this you got to go out to like around the dreaded seventh position it's balancing wow okay and you have your handy dandy where is it oh here slide cream it's backwards in the camera why i do that i don't know but it's the thing i should have been more prepared for this but i'm not so we're gonna pretend like i'm prepared deal and you like put it on two dots in the position right on each like thing one, two, right? Like that. I'm a mess today. I just struggled to put on a cap, okay. And so, then you're just gonna like slide it like this. Do I need water for this? Uh, I don't think I do, but who knows? Not me, I'll tell you that much. And you just do this until you get like the end. This is an awkward position to do this in. Anyway, you just keep doing this until you you get it all like spread throughout the slide. And it should make it better. It should, I guess. I don't know if it will. Ow. All right, now, what's that noise? It's me, it's okay. Anyway, now it's time to take apart the instrument safely so you don't hurt it or dent it or break it or anything. First step is you undo the mouthpiece, which could be just like twisting, right? And puts that, put that back away in there in that little pocket where, or wherever you keep it. I don't know how other, your cases are. And then you have to un like unscrew the thing magic. The thing, the lock, that's what it's called. And then that's just a twist to get it undone. Like this. Put that back into where it goes. And then put the slide away, right? Easy enough. And then I'm also going to show you how to close the case. Do I close the case? I normally 
depends on how how much time I have I guess like if I'm hurrying I'll just like whip it together and stuff but I or maybe it's just like a natural thing but you like do it up on both sides slowly and then you put it together like this oh no I forgot the cream oh no back to opening it together like that puts it back together bad don't follow that example please no i'll get fired i don't have a job there and then you just latch it back up like so easy enough huh to end this oh Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Please come again if I do this again. Probably not, but here I am. I mean, no. I'm done with this.